Hello, my name is Sarah and this is my channel at House of Mine where we look at all things to do with interior design, home decor and DIY. And today I have a Christmas DIY for you and I'm going to paint a Christmas tree gold. This was affordable, it was easy and if you'd like to see how it turned out then watch along. Here is the tree that I purchased for £10 off a of Facebook marketplace for this project. I got really nervous once I got this tree into the entrance hall because it's actually really good quality for £10. So I didn't want to ruin it. But as you can see, the green working with the green background, well, it just doesn't work. Uh, I felt like it needed a little pop of colour maybe to help it stand out. And I wanted a nice warm feel. This was the paint that I used. Now you can get three cans of this for £12.99 from eBay. I bought it for £5 a can from Amazon. It's one of the cheapest paints, but it was one that was recommended when I did a bit of research. So I did to keep the tree up and to do a light coating over the whole tree, just to see how far the spray paint would go. Now, I would actually recommend that you take the leaves off when you spray paint yours, but I was just doing a bit of a trial and error to see how just a soft coat over it would actually look. Now, as I said, I did a little bit of research on gold spray paints because I didn't want to have a very yellow gold. I wanted this to feel a little bit more elevated and just give a little bit of warmth to the tree. As I started with my first light coat, I knew this was the perfect gold. It isn't yellow, it's just got a lovely tone to it. And as you can see, I just wanted to go over the tree very lightly first, just to see how far this paint would go. I was also at this point trying to decide how saturated I wanted the colour. I quite liked the green poking through and I wasn't sure whether to keep it like that or whether to go a bit darker. So here you can quite clearly see the difference between the green side and then the gold side over there. As with all paints, it's best to do thin light coats rather than going on too heavy. So that's the approach I took with this tree. I did at this point switch to wearing gloves because having used spray paint before, I could see the way the end was going and I didn't want that all over my fingers. And if you have a look at my gloves in a moment, you'll see actually how much paint did actually go on them. So I was really pleased that I put those on. Definitely do this in a ventilated area. Do not try and do it indoors and wear gloves. And this is what it was looking like so far. So this was it with the light coating. I did go in and start bending some leaves around at this point so that when I did the next coat, I was covering different angles and sides of the leaves. So this was how the tree was looking after using one can of spray paint. So one light coating over it. I couldn't quite get to the top and some of these branches on the inside here I hadn't done either. So I did order some more paint and I gave it another coat. Ideally, I think three cans would have been good for this size tree. This is what it looks like in the room now. When I stand back here, it doesn't look any different. But that's because this is England and it's December and the weather is rubbish. And I've been waiting for some nice sunny days to film this and it's just not happening. So we've just had to crack on and do it. Now, I will come closer and you'll see how gold it really is once I get the camera closer. And to me, this is how it looks all the time, even when I'm stood back. It's just hard when I'm stood back to get the full effect on the camera for you. But you can see how the gold looks against the green wall there. It really is a lovely gold. There's a tiny bit of green poking out. Probably did need a slight more coating of paint, but I'm really happy with how this has turned out. And the color does look really nice when you're actually here in real life next to it. So let's have a look and see what this tree looks like when it's decorated. I've got some lights, a gold star, and you will see in the corner there, I do have some tinsel. People love this or they hate it, but I saw this in the shop and I thought it might go really well with the lights. I'm trying to get this gold warm effect. And I thought if I tuck the tinsel close into the tree around the lights, it might just help give a little bit of sparkle. I also treated myself to some new baubles as well. The tree looks beautiful it definitely stands out against the green background a bit more as i said before when i stand back here you can't really get the full impact when i come closer hopefully you can really see the gold there it is a really lovely shade of gold a very elevated gold not a yellow gold and this is how it looks all the time when you're stood back in the room i just have to get quite close with the camera to actually be able to give you the effect of how it comes across but i'm really happy with this so if you want to do this project, my top tips would be buy at least three cans of the paint from eBay or you could buy it from Amazon if it's easier for you, which it was for me. Take it outside, wear gloves, 
shut your doors to the house because the spray paint smell will go in the house if your doors and windows are open and take the branches off and spray them one at a time and get them to the desired level of consistency for how you would like the paint to look. I'm going to show you a before and after photo so you can really see the difference that this paint has made. It is disappointing that when I stand back or I take a photo it's not showing up as well on the camera but when I zoom in close here you can see how beautifully gold it is. So here's the before and here's the after. It's made such a big difference. You can obviously decide how gold you want to go with this tree but I'm really happy with the level that we have. If you've got any questions please comment below and I wish you a Merry Christmas.